year, Malcolm Turnbull announced that Community TV would lose its licence, but then gave Community TV a 12-month reprieve in his last act as Communications Minister. Now, this evening, it was announced that four stations have accepted an offer to extend their Community TV licences until the end of 2016. So we caught up with Shane Dunlop, Channel 31's production manager, to ask about the future of Community TV. Hi, Shane. Welcome to The League. Thanks for being on tonight. Hey, what a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, pl absolute pleasure to have you on. Now, uh, Shane, uh, obviously big news earlier today with this new uh, agreement that the four stations have signed. Uh, yeah, so Melbourne, uh, Brisbane, Adelaide and Perth have all, I guess, made the formal announcement uh, today that we would be uh, continuing on next year, which is uh, great news. It is great news. Now, uh, everyone wants to know, uh, what exactly was the deal? Like, what do we have to to give up anything yes. uh, to get this license? Look, um, when uh, he was Minister Turnbull, uh, the Minister for Communications, uh, he made the uh, extension offer, I think, going back to July. And there were quite a few stipulations in that, that there was a process that our board in Melbourne had to go through to, I guess, work through whether those um, were exceptions that we were willing to accept. In the end, we really had no choice um, but to accept. I mean. Uh, some of them were reasonably tough and, uh, uh, you know, I guess we can only sort of thank him for his kindness by giving us another year, but, um, you know, there's a lot more to the story, I suppose. Well, the big question is, uh, as part of one of the conditions, are we no longer allowed to attack the government? Are we now the mouthpiece <sighs> of the state? No, I wouldn't go that far. We, we can, uh, we're still, certainly the community um, TV, we're, we're able to do, you know, we, Business as usual. We're not um, changing anything over the next year. Um, so we can still we play can still clips of Tony Abbott eating an onion. Is that absolutely. what you're saying? Absolutely. In fact, I think. Phew. We oh my gosh. Yeah, what were we? Oh. Sorry, that was we're just speaking <laughs> truth to power. Yeah, absolutely. No, look, we're, it's business oh. as usual. Everything uh, remains the same. Uh, the only thing um, that we, I guess, one of the exceptions was that we weren't able to turn around. Um, this time next year and lobby for another extension um, and so we've had to accept that we've had to accept that next year will be our last um, but you know there's a lot of time between now and then and uh, we'll just continue to do what we do and and, uh, and and see what happens. I have to ask Shane Yes Anthony. This could be our last year it's a little bit like Tony Stark in a box in a cave with a box of scraps uh, what is the nature of this next year? What are we looking to do with our community stations? What are we absolutely looking not to do with okay. this valuable time? Uh, I think we're looking to do everything we possibly can. So, I mean, that's looking at all options. It's really important for us at 31 and the, the community of you know, producers and, and volunteers as a whole to, to try and make next year um, as uh, dynamic and, and as exciting as we possibly can. So from our standpoint, we're looking to engage in every which way possible um, and, and try to really step up what it is that community TV stands for, um, you know, and, and just really sort of go out with a bang if that's what um, ends up happening. Um, I had a question, Shane. Now, um, old mate Turnbull, uh, yes. there are obviously plans to replace Channel 31 because those licences will now be free. Yeah. Um, I'd heard a rumour that he's planning to replace the show with shopping channels. Is that right? I think that's what he would um, like to do. Um, you know, certainly that's what we've... Uh, and, and, and the general public are of the opinion that that's what will happen with the spectrum. They will use it to test and they'll use it to, um, uh, you know, uh, do other things but certainly you could see a future where we'll be gone and there'll be more shopping channels or um, call to win and uh, psychic live TV these kinds of things will be what you'll see more of um, uh, potentially after we're gone well I mean there really just isn't enough of that is there no I love call to have you watched call to win I haven't seen it but are you saying if, if we started to sell stuff would we be more likely to stay on air longer it's, it's very possible. If we, I think if we employed uh, sort of a full-time psychic to sort of take over from the graveyard shift and, and go from midnight to six, we'd do really well. If we had right. some kind of hot dogs-esque uh, late night show. I is, can... he, is he free at the I moment? I heard that he's in Queensland, so our counterparts in Brisbane could probably tee something up and we could take the feed live. It'd be awesome. I can sell blenders if you need. Elizabeth, you can sell stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can sell incontinence, <laughs> incontinence underwear, you know, because the government gives me the shits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I'm volunteering to sell fighter jets because I hear that the government's really into that. 
I yeah. don't know if they still are. That's the other question. Well, we have some of those lying around already, I think. We've got so many. We've got mm. too many. Yeah. Well, uh, Shane, how much money would it actually cost to save community TV? Is there like a dollar figure that they need? It's, it's not a money issue. It's never been a money issue. Um, it's not a, it, 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 you know, getting rid of Channel 31 and, and community TV across the country doesn't save the taxpayers any money. Um, in fact, at best, there might be a short term windfall by selling off the spectrum to another shopping network. It's truthfully not a, a money issue um, as far as there's no, there's no amount of money that could save us essentially. Um, it's just a philosophical um, approach from you know, our current government. And a very optimistic approach too, I must say. No, no amount of money can save us. Well, I mean, it really is the case. It's not a, it's not, it's, it is not a, a, an issue of us raising money to save us. That, that won't get the job done. It's truthfully public opinion and, and the current government not being a big fan of community media as a whole. All right, well, uh, we'll try and change that, Shane, with yeah. the leak. Uh, thanks so much for coming on the show and explaining to us a bit more how that's all going down. Hey, thanks for having me on your first show. Ah, oh, pleasure. Hopefully many more to come. Yes, please.